Alright, so here's another video for 1HT about exercise 9 from the diagnostic test. Now let me show you one thing, here it is in the book. And one thing you might notice that they use a lot of commas here, see that? They use that to separate thousands, like if you have 3000, you get 3 comma and then 3 zeros. So don't get confused with a point, like that there's a number behind the point, like over here, 0 0.000. So what I usually do is I just ignore them. When I write down a number, like with 9a, you have a very big number with the three commas in it, I just write it down like this, All right? So there is no, there are no commas. I do leave a bit of space in between, so you can easily count the zeros. Right? Now we have to write these down in the scientific notation, so I'll show you how to do that. If the number is very big, then you get a positive power, I'll show you that at the end of this exercise. But first, uh, we see this whole number. The first number we see is a 3, so I'm going to write down 3.72. And then times 10 to the power of... And then the point was here, and we want the point to be there. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here, this is what I told you earlier about. This power is going to be positive. If you have a very small number, like with uh, D, E, and F, well, E is not that small, but you get a negative power there. Exercise B. The first digit we see is also a 3 here. So 3.80. Uh, you always have to round off to two decimal places. So we're going to ignore the 207. We just write down two decimal places and that is it. Times 10 to the power of. And then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to the power of 5. The next one. This is a small number, so using the scientific notation is not very useful here. But still, the question said right down in the scientific notation, so we're going to do that. So 3.8 is 0. I mean, the 0 you don't have to write down because it doesn't really do anything. Times 10 to the power of, and then 1, 2. So this is the scientific notation for that one. Moving on to these small numbers, so now the power is going to be negative. The first digit that is not 0 that we encounter is a 2, so I'm going to write down 2.75 times 10 to the power, and then we count 1, 2, 3, 4 places, so it becomes minus 4. The next one, yeah, the first digit we see that is not 0 is a 7, so the point only moves one place, so you get 7.4 times 10 to the power of minus 1. And then for the last one, the first digit I see that's not 0 is 3, so 3.4 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the answers for exercise 9. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.